let's see what is the VBA code to refresh all pivot tables automatically whenever there is any change in source data. Here I have two sheets. One sheet is having source data where I have order ID, date, city, product category, product name, sale, unit price and total amount. On second sheet named as pivot analysis has three pivot tables. So how we can refresh all these three pivot tables if we make any change in source data. So what we can do is let me press Alt F11. On left hand side I can see two sheets pivot analysis and source data. So I'll select source data and then from first drop down I'll select worksheet. By default we can see worksheet underscore selection change event. This event is the default event for worksheet. If we don't see this we can select from second drop down. So on this event I'll write code as dim p as pivot cache and then for each p in this workbook dot pivot caches and then p dot refresh and finally next space p so these are the four lines of VBA code that will refresh all pivot tables whenever we make any change in source data. So let's test this. Let me minimize this VBA data window. I'll go to pivot analysis. We can see that right now Delhi in second pivot table has one like eleven thousand nine hundred in third pivot table total for daily is also one like eleven thousand nine hundred so i'll go to source data instead of seventy five hundred let me make it seven hundred fifty only smaller number press enter and now let's see if changes are reflecting in pivot tables so i'll go to pivot analysis tab we can see that number is decreased for delhi now let's change one more time this time let me make a far bigger number 750000 press enter let me go to pivot analysis we can see that number is increase wherever we have Delhi. So this is how we can refresh many pivot tables whenever we make any change in source data. This is helpful when we have to refresh many pivot tables manually. Now we can use this VBA solution to refresh multiple pivot tables automatically. So let me show the code again. We need to remember that we will write this code on selection change event of that sheet which has source data. Thanks for watching. You can subscribe to my channel to get notifications for new VBA tutorials. Thank you.